Skyrim will never die. And you want to know why? Because I poured in 1600 hours into Skyrim and holy crap, I poured in 1600 hours into Skyrim. What the hell? What is that? Like two months? Damn. Going back to the point. 1600 plus hours playing Skyrim and yet this game still pulls me in. And yes, it's a Skyrim modding community that brings me in. But what kept me playing this game for hours and hours on end? Wabajack. No, not this Wabajack. This Wabajack. For those of you that never heard of Wabajack, see back in the olden days, to get an ultra modded Skyrim setup, you would have to spend weeks to download and install every single mod. And you will have to spend more time patching everything just to make them all work together. But now with the help of Wabajack and some crazy individuals called modless authors, you can have an ultra modded Skyrim in just hours. How do we do that? Easy. Go to YouTube, find yourself a tutorial on how to use Wabajack, and follow the instructions. That's it. What? You thought I was going to show you how to do it? Nah, go do your own research, you lazy mother. I'm joking. But yes, go watch videos on it. It's very easy to use. So easy a caveman can do it. How could it be offensive if it's true? Okay, first of all, I'm not 100% in love with your tone right now. Now, going back to my point, Skyrim will never die. Because tools like this literally have turned Skyrim into a game engine. You want a mod list that makes Skyrim feels like a FromSoft game? We got a list for that. You want a mod list where Skyrim is still Skyrim, but just updated graphics? We got a list for that. You want a mod list where Skyrim is an adult game with nudity and immersive love activities? We got a list for that too. Okay, just this once. Basically, modding allows you to turn Skyrim into any game you want, and what Wabajack does is let you spend more time playing the game than fixing it. Now, I still suggest you learn the basics of modding, so if you ever want to tweak any of these mod lists, you can. Keep in mind that any tweaks or changes that you do on a mod list, and I mean any, is done so at your own risk and will avoid your official support for the list. So don't be that one idiot that tweaks a mod list and go crying in a Discord server that the list is broken. Please don't be that guy. We don't like that guy. So go download Wabajack and get yourself a mod list to play. If you want to know what mod list I've been playing, I've been playing Woodenig, Elder Gleam, and Vagabond, which is what you are seeing in this video. But there's more great lists in there like AVO, Living Skyrim, Chargrin, Lucentia. And the best part is, all these mod lists are completely free. So do me a favor and stop paying for mod lists because that's just ridiculous. Hashtag keep mods free. Because you want to know what kills Skyrim? Paid mods.